Okay, so these are the main apps that I use. I'll pick exactly the most important ones first. So, Flippagram, I would say, is my number one choice. Let me show you how this works, kind of just a summary or whatever. So, it's kind of like social media app but it has something that most of the other apps don't have which is you you press that plus button I don't know if you've seen that but let me do it again it take some time to load so this plus button highlighted with red you press that first Then say I want to get a video, like this one right here, I'm working on it. You see how it's 24 seconds long. I want that, I can highlight it here. You see, like let's say I want to cut some of these scenes off. Like for instance, let's say right around here there was some awkward moments that I didn't like. So over here I unselect it, over here. Then say I, I didn't like some over here, I unselect over there. And I wanna select over here. You just have to review your video and see which part you like and which want which parts you don't. Then you hit OK. Then I hit next. Then I can hit edit and I can add another clip. And then it'll take you through the same. And then when I click it each clip I can crop it so like it zoom in on a clip I can add text right here um, let me see well I should probably try to do this then so I can add that on there change the colors that's pretty self-explanatory hit done and then say I want to duplicate this clip say I was doing something real cool and I wanted to show it like three times I would just have it duplicate duplicate and then I could go on the middle one and say I want to make that one slow motion so I would click that scissor that I just clicked and then I would go to speed right here and if I wanted to go fast, even slow motion, depending on what I want. So I'll click slow motion. This is going to fix the speed up. And it's going to basically adjust the speed for that particular clip. And let me see. I could even turn the sound off on this particular clip or I can leave it. And then I hit OK. OK. And say I'm done right here. I'll hit done again. And then they'll let me edit it or I can draw something on here. Say I want to write something, I can I can I can write that and it'll blink and you can click that brush and then let you choose you know what kind of text you want, like if you want something like that. Then if you go to effects, you can uh click that effect where it's like a boombox thing, hearts, strobe lights, and filters if you don't want any you just go to none and then you go to filters you can pick different filters too if you want to make it black and white you just select which one you want so you go to done after that you hit next and then it's basically loading and then it's gonna basically ask you to save it this might take a while but that's about it for flippagram honestly flippagram I think is the best one to go with because you could basically do everything I use Flippagram the most, but say you wanted to do something else like Movavi Clip, you can do, it's similar to the timeline on Flippagram, except you can choose the exact spot you want to cut the video at. So uh, let me see if I can show you an example. What the hell is this? Um, thank you for using, uh, shit, I don't even know what this is. Okay, so I'll hit that plus, I'll go to video. Then this one I just used. I'll go to video, I'll select that, I'll go to start editing. Then the only thing I really like about this, well it lets you choose which size, so let's choose vertical video. 
So it lets you cut it wherever you want. So say I'm playing it. Okay, so these are the main apps. Right here, say I want to cut it. Or I can zoom exactly the spot I want to cut it. And I just hit that scissor. And it cuts it. And then it'll start a new clip. That I use. So then you just save it right here. And you hit the save button right there, which I'm not going to do. But that's another part. That's the only reason I like this app. But the Flippogram has way more features than that. So you don't even have to bother using it unless you're really doing something precise. But I like this one just to crop the videos. This is something I use just like if there's some stuff on the video that I don't want on there. I will just use this to crop it. So I will just, uh, let me see. See, it doesn't let me select it because my thing is full right now. Shit. So I'm going to have to clear up some storage. But that's pretty self-explanatory. You basically highlight the video and the part you want cropped. It's like the same as cropping a picture, except it crops a video. Then, uh, let me see, video shop. One thing I like about video shop you can use, because pretty much the rest of the apps are similar, but video shop has these themes you can pick from. So, for instance, let's see. So let's say I click that same video. It's going to import the clip. And then uh, say I hit next. It lets me click, okay, so these, click are these filters. The main apps that and I use. Say I want uh, this right here. Exactly this is pretty cool. It's got the security ones. camera footage. And so then it has a few different things I would say is my number right one here. choice. Let me show you how this filters. works kind of. And it lets you put a title. A so say I want to put summary some, or whatever. Yeah, like whatever over here. So it's kind of like a social media app, but it has Author. something that.